Okay, up, left arm, up, left arm, up, left arm. That was awesome. <laughs> right, we're on. Do you pull down on the golf swing? That's tonight's topic. Do you pull down on the golf swing? Let's get on this golf course and discuss that. Yes. So, do you pull down on the golf swing? Yes. You should pull the butt of the golf club down towards the golf ball. Butt of the golf club pulled down towards golf ball. Face on. Butt of the golf club pulled down towards the golf ball. The pulling down is done by the left arm. That gives you full control. And if you pull the butt of the golf club down towards the golf ball with the left arm, that will reduce any chance of the right hand pushing the golf club towards the golf ball. So from the top, the left arm pulls the butt of the club down towards the golf ball. And if we use the left arm to be the controlling mechanism of this assembly, if you like, then the right hand and the right shoulder are less likely to push the club down or outwards away from the player and more towards golf ball. So left arm, Left arm pulls the club down towards the golf ball, the butt end of the club towards the golf ball. And if that's done controlled and correctly, it will stop the right hand and right shoulder pushing the club down towards golf ball. Now that's a different action. When I get the right arm and the right shoulder to push down, I'm here coming over the top. If I get the left arm to pull down the butt towards the club, you can see towards the ball, sorry. You can see the different position I get into. Incorrect, right hand, right shoulder. Left arm pulling butt towards ball, correct. So that's correct, incorrect. Granted, it's not easy to pull with the left arm, but just the visualization of the butt of the golf club going towards the ball, controlled with the left arm, can make things a lot easier. So just a visual, even just half back, left arm pulling butt towards club head, there, there. Now there's no way I'm going out this way now because I've resisted the push because I'm focused on left arm pulling. So their left arm, their left arm bringing butt towards golf ball, their left arm bringing butt towards golf ball. Now that was a half swing to feel, but that's how we learn. Left arm, butt to ball, left arm, butt to ball, left arm, butt to ball, good again, half swing to feel. When I increase length of swing, there is more temptation for right hand and right shoulder to push. Don't want to push. You can push if you want, but you'll play bad golf. You'll be inconsistent. From the top, left arm, pulling the butt. Left arm, pulling the butt. Right hand, right shoulder, pushing. No. Look how that club stands up. Right arm, right shoulder, push, look at the club. Right arm, right shoulder, pushing, look at this, cut my neck off. This shaft's cut my neck off. Left arm, pulling, left arm, pulling. Now, of course, there's body rotation, but left arm, pulling. You can see how the club sits much flatter on the way down. Left arm, pulling. And that club sits down behind me more because I'm controlled with the left arm. I like to also visualise something in front of the golf ball, so if I have a tee about a couple of club heads ahead of the golf ball and I get the top of the swing, shortened back swing to feel this sensation 
and I pull the left hand down or the butt of the club down, I feel as though I'm pulling it down towards the tee, so to a position ahead of the golf ball. That's where I'm pulling this down. So that is now my aiming spot. Instead of golf ball, something ahead of the golf ball, like this tee, from the top, pulling the left arm down towards that tee. So of course, impact, if I've got the left arm or the butt of the club in line with the tee, I will then have some nice forward shaft lean and compression through impact, which is completely different, absolutely different, than standing up this way. Right hand, right arm, right elbow, right shoulder, all off plane because I've had that temptation to push down. And of course I'll come across. I'll come across and stand the shaft up. You can put the tee ahead if you like. You can play your shot from there. Okay, up, left arm, up, left arm, up. Left arm, that was awesome. <laughs> left arm, I could feel the shaft a little bit more behind me because I was focused again on left arm and aim point. I'm going to casually hit two more balls, these two. Aim point, ball, aim point, two clubs heads, two club heads, two club head lengths ahead of the ball and focusing on Left arm down, left arm down, left arm down towards the aim point. So I'm up and left arm down, up, left arm down, absolutely pured it again. Let's have a quick look at that face on, shall we? There we go. Before you ask, yes, I'm playing off the red tees. <laughs> One, two club heads ahead on my target line, that is now my aim point. Address position, awesome. Up to the top there, left arm getting pulled towards my aim point, pulled towards my aim point, body opens up. As I pull, I don't yank down because I'm not yanking towards my aim point, I'm yanking down this way. Instead I want to be going down butt end of the club towards the golf ball or the sensation of aim point. I like the aim point, it's a little bit more advanced, or a little bit more exaggerated. Super important, look at the difference between that action and that action. <sighs> Big difference, eh? Aim point. Left arm, pulling the club from the top of your reduced swing, body opens up, pulling it down towards that tee. The body opening up, of course we can do with Eureka Golf Swing, but left arm down towards aim point. And we are good to go, that was smashing. So should you pull down on the golf swing? Yes, yes you should. So thank you for subscribing to my channel, thanks for hitting the thumbs up button and thanks for hitting the bell notification, I really appreciate that. I enjoy making these videos, I enjoy making the content for people, I love the feedback, so please leave your comments in the box below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.